All right, I'm gonna show you how to do the blood knot. Uh, this is Dave from wetflyswing.com and uh, this knot is definitely a super awesome knot. Um, used mostly tying leader uh, leaders together, um, different you know uh, diameters, it works really great. So what you do is cross it over here and you can see I got the two different, these were two leaders. I crossed over and make it an X right there and I pinch with my right hand and then I wrap this one towards me, pinching tight here so I can keep a nice hole here. One, two, and I usually do three wraps. I'm just gonna do two here because it's a little hard to work with, with this rope. And then I put it back through this, through that hole that I created. So you see now, see that hole? And then I switched from pinching here and now I pinch right where I put that, where I did my new, right in the middle of the new knot. And then this one, I do the same exact thing, but I wrap away from me one I'll just do two just to show you a two and then now on this one instead of coming towards me I go through the hole and then the opposite way I'll show you what it looks like when it's set up so that's basically kind of what it looks like and then once you get there it's just a matter of nursing it together and you know if you were gonna use leader you'd put saliva on it but see you just kind of nurse it pull it together a lot of times it'll just come together perfectly um, you can see that's just kind of coming together just just like it does and then once you get it you can see that knot is never going to slip on you. That's that's a good knot. And you can see that if, and here's how you know it's been a good blood knot. If both of the leaders, the tippets, are going the opposite way. If you see them when they're both on the same side, you probably did something wrong. But and then once you get there, you can kind of come in and trim it up. Usually I like to when I'm doing this knot to leave a little tag in. So I might just trim it up, you know, something like something like that leave a little bit because that's not really going to affect the fish in that much unless you're doing some super stealth fishing um, so that's that's the blood knot everybody um you know there's definitely um i guess it, it maybe is a little more work than some knots but i think this is the one i use all the time and once you get going on it it's a uh, super good knot to use so uh, if you have any questions you can come on over at uh, wetflyswing.com and uh, check us out see uh you know you can ask your question there and uh, we'll see you hopefully there. Uh, thanks again and we'll talk to you on the next video.